guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do the finale for the roulette pan collab that i am doing with a bunch of lovely ladies and this collab is started by alexandra and rebecca morgan and they are amazing ladies if you haven't checked them out already but if you know about this project i'm pretty sure you follow them already they're really really awesome and they make amazing videos and i decided to join into their collab this year and this is the fifth round that Roulette Pan Collab is going and the third year that it opened up to everybody. I think they're doing another round. I'm not really sure but I'm definitely going to do this again because this is so much fun. Even though this project was not my intention where I should finish up stuff. Does that make sense? Um, I really just wanted to get some use out of the products and I have and that is amazing. But I don't really have an empty or empties for this update. Maybe one, no two. And they're not empty because I just hit my goal, but that is progress for next time I want to put them in a project. And that is exciting for me at least. I hope that for you too. The first product that I hit my goal on is this lipstick from Estee Lauder. And yes, I'm so excited that I hit my 20 uses goal on it. It is getting tiny, kind of. I don't know how much I have used because I only tally how many times I used it and I count them as days, not the applying amount. If I wear it one day, I can reapply one, two, three, four times a day. So that is really how I tally it. It's only the days that I have used it. This lipstick is called Pure Color Pinkberry 82. And this was for a product that is you know, something special to you. And this is definitely special to me because my cousin from Texas bought this for me and it is a lovely memory of her. And I love this lipstick. I can't keep it forever though because they go bad. I have loved using this lipstick over the past few months. You have no idea how much I love this lipstick. So I'm going to be sad when it's gone. Maybe I'm going to keep the packaging. I don't know because it's really, really beautiful. This is in my collection and it's not cruelty free. So I will have it done at some point. So, bittersweet, you know? Bittersweet. <laughs> the next item I hit my goal on is this foundation because I knew last time there were only one month left for this project. I knew I couldn't finish it. This was for a product you are currently loving. I love this foundation. I am wearing it right now mixed in with a BB cream. This is so amazing. This is medium coverage, I would say. Maybe light to medium coverage. And it is matching me so nicely right now. I really really like this because it is satin finish. It's not dewy or extremely matte. It's just beautiful on the skin and it lasts a long time on me. And foundation break up on me so fast. This doesn't. It's amazing. It is a W7 HD foundation. And yeah, maybe I was above that large text there. I really can't remember. To be quite honest but i knew i wanted to be where the word foundation is that is where i am right now you can see the window goes down to here so that is what i am counting i should have marked it i just didn't i don't care i am wearing this lip gloss today actually but this is the first or second time i am using this lip gloss this month I know it's awful. I have only used it 10 times the last three months. It's four months even. How long have you do been doing this project? Four months, I think. That is not good, but I'm not a lip gloss person. I'm just really not. This was scary to me because it is so shiny and holographic. It is the Lip Tripper Holographic Lip Gloss from W7. As you can see, it is so intense. Um, it doesn't look intense on the lips though. It's really, really nice. Yeah, my goal was to use I used it 10 times, so that's fine. I used it half up. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that. This was for a unique product, and I definitely think a holographic lip gloss is unique. This item has been here in from the start as well. It is the Trended Up Metallica Gel Eyeliner in 50. Well, it's this coverage shade, and I have used this in total. 11 times? No, more than that. I've used it a few times since then. 13 times maybe? <laughs> not a lot, but this is just not in a routine, you know, and I forget to use it. I only like it as a um, lower lash line. 
eyeliner. Nothing sits in my waterline, so that is just not an option. And it is a little bit too light for me on my top lashes. And when you pan kind of a pink look, this does not go well with it. So, yeah, that's that. I can't say anything about it. This is how much I have left. And yes, there's a lot. I know. I know. This is the W7 Princess Potion Complexion Booster and Primer. I do like this. I don't love it. I like it. I don't like it as a primer because it's too moisturizing for my combi skin. Um, it makes my matte foundation oily. And that says a lot because they never do that with any primer I use. Um, it's only my natural oils that come through. But this was so greasy. Um, so I use it as a nighttime serum and I really like it. Now I only have this serum in my stash so this will get used now i have used it a few times again i have tried to use my serum up maybe that was a bad choice for me because i could have used this but i'm working on it now that is a common thing in this project pan if you can't tell <laughs> i tried i tried my very best the last item i have is my m decay vice 4 palette and i had an eyeshadow in here it was called fastball and it is the pink shadow that i have on my eyelids today and it is this shadow right there. So as you can see there's some wear right there. And that is where I have been putting my brush. I also used the trick with the setting spray. Um, it didn't work with this shadow because it's not really um, shimmery or anything. It's more satin and yeah, basically you can't turn a satin finish shadow into a metallic. So that's just not possible if it is please let me know but yeah there's no dip or anything and i have used it three times since i put it in last time not good because i was sure that i could have hit my 10 to 15 uses goal by this update i didn't bring this palette with me to london i didn't uh, wear makeup for a few days this week i have only used makeup today and it is wednesday because i hurt my back uh, Monday because I fell down the stairs Stupid So I hurt my back and I'm feeling okay today So I thought I at least would film when I did have makeup on because I went to a meeting Yeah, this is that that's life, you know So maybe that's also why Maybe I can use that an, as an excuse for the other items that I didn't hit goal. I have no idea um but I really really like this project overall. I love the idea and I really like the fact that I just got some use out of some items that wouldn't have been used if it wasn't for this project. I did declutter three items from my collection from this project, which in my head is really really good because then I don't have to force myself to go through them. So I tried them, I used them for a while and then I just decluttered them and Hopefully they will get a new home. If they are too old, I will just toss them because no one should use old makeup if I have used it before them, you know. That was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please go to like, subscribe down below because I do a lot of project planning videos and series. I have a few in the making right now and they are starting in a month and two months. So I'm really, really excited about that. And if you like palette bingos and empties, please stick around because I do them as well on my channel. It will mean the world to me if you want to stick around. And until my next video, please take care.